Hi, I'm going to play a very short clip of Leslie Stahl from 60 Minutes. She admits she had pneumonia and uh, that she um, uh, was at home for two weeks, then finally went to the hospital, was in the hospital several days, and then got better. She kind of says she had COVID-19, I think, but we're not really, she's not really clear. She mentions other colleagues at the station at, at her, where she works had it. Um, but she's embarrassed. She's embarrassed to be part of the story. And I just want to point out that don't be embarrassed. Tell us, how were you treated in the hospital? What, how did they treat you? Were you put on a ventilator or not? Were you, um, were you given that new drug that starts with an R? Resvimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
Is that really going to be worse than slapping a, a, a mask onto somebody's face and every time they cough, they cough into the mask? I mean, that, that just seems like insanity to me. Maybe she lived because she was home for two weeks before going into the hospital, so they didn't get to her soon enough with that mask and that ventilator. Anyway, I'm going to play the clip, and it's very short, and uh, I'll talk briefly afterwards. One of the rules of journalism is don't become part of the story. But instead of covering the pandemic, I was one of the more than one million Americans who did become part of it. I wasn't alone from this broadcast. One COVID positive 60 Minutes co-worker had almost no symptoms, while others had almost every symptom you can imagine. Each case is different. After two weeks at home in bed, weak, fighting pneumonia, and really scared, I went to the hospital. I found an overworked, nearly overwhelmed staff. Every one of them was kind and sympathetic, gentle and caring from the moment I arrived until the moment days later when I was wheeled out through a gauntlet of cheering medical workers. In the face of so much death, they celebrate their triumphs. This valiant army in scrubs and masks were not just doing a job. They were fulfilling a mission, answering the call. Thanks to them, like so many other patients, I am well now. Tonight, we owe them our gratitude, our admiration, and in some cases, our lives. I'm less... The key word is, in some cases, our lives. All right? Yeah, they're doing the best they can. I agree with that. I agree they're being, the workers are being put in unfair conditions. But they're following protocol. They have no choice. <clears throat> who reviews? Who is reviewing how we're dealing with a virus that hits the lungs? I mean, we keep talking about drugs and vaccines and a breathing and a disease that you have to breathe every few seconds. So wouldn't the air going into the, into the lungs be one thing we would consider in terms of how we're treating patients? So if anybody out there, you know, is concerned that the protocol in place, that they don't feel comfortable with it, ask, can we put a tent over the bed? If you, I'm not telling you what to do, I'm just giving you an idea because for some reason, we're not allowed to share ideas. Even Leslie Stahl thinks she's embarrassed to be part of the story. So we're not going to find out how she was treated. That's great, Leslie, thanks. That's really great. It's like you walked into this room, something happened, and you walked out, and that's your story. Wow. Thanks a lot. That, that's really good. So just consider this as an idea. And if anybody out there knowledgeable, who's in a position to do this legally, which I don't think anybody can even legally do with this idea. I think you're all going to be, whoever tries it is going to violate it some law. I'm suggesting a tent around the bed. You pump in the oxygen at the level the medical experts think is correct. And just figure out what you can put in the air in that tent that might help fight the coronavirus in moderate, in a, obviously a mild form. And something even naturally occurring. Not a drug necessarily. It could be a drug. Maybe not a drug. So let's, let's, let's move forward and try these things. Let's not keep everything a secret. 